Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Inheritance of Crimson Manor. I'm Eric, and we're about to break open this chain and see what's locked behind this big hidden door. We haven't made a lot of progress narratively. We've made a lot of progress puzzle-wise, but this may be a big step into discovering what's going on within this place with the immortality serum, with our, you know, the son of this family who may have been made long-lasting or immortal thanks to the serum. So let's find out what's happening. That's not what it sounds like when you cut through a chain. It's a louder pop. It's not a soft swing. Well, that's disappointing. Never mind. Crimson formula dosage. Give children two drops after each meal and one before bed. Yikes. Wine cellar key. And the red formula is there, but apparently I'm not getting it. Why can't I just click on this? Why is this the only thing that's clickable out of this? Anderson cream toffee? That doesn't seem worth clicking. I like mite wheat flakes, though. Let's go. All right, well, you head down the stairs and we see what we see. I'm betting I can't go through the steam. Yeah, nope, can't go through the steam. 30 rotations counterclockwise, 22 rotations clockwise. Okay. Boiler safety instructions. In the case of steam leak, set the gauge pressure to 475 pound pressure to transfer steam to the secondary pressure release pipes. Rotate the valves upward to increase pressure, downward to decrease it. Never exceed 500 pounds. Pounds? It shouldn't be pounds in Britain. Um, 500 pressure on yet or get below zero or the pressure system will reset itself. Don't push it. I think that said push. Not the best at reading... Let's get away from the hiss. Not the best at reading uh, cursive. Cask of Amontillado. At least this one I know is real. I don't know if all the others are real, but this one was written by Edgar Allan Poe. I wonder if the others are all real stories. Um, Cask of Amontillado is great. Uh, I will never forget our last travels together. That day in London, that month in Paris, and that year in Rome. Okay. I don't know any of that stuff. Happy to have another gear, though. Anything I can loot from here? Nope. Let's go. Uh, that's that's that. Which means that's over there. Cask of Amontillado right next to the wine. Of course it is. Let's insert this gear into, is it in this room? Yeah, yeah it is. Minute hand falls off the clock. Okay, it fell off of the clock through the glass? I don't know, but I know where it goes. I still remember this. There's another clock in this house that's missing a minute's hand. So let's get a going. Equip, click. Oh, time. There was something that was just set as a time. 345. 3. 30. 45. 345. Nice. See, this is the kind of thing that I think is good instead of making a system that can be brute forced. Locking it away somehow reasonably or just having the character say, no, I don't want to, I don't know the combination. 
so that you can't just do like you can't just solve it i think that's good i think that's good game design um i need to figure out where the heck that goes zoo eh, zoo praxiscope disc where have we seen a projector Game room, dining room, master bedroom, storage, library, attic. Maybe there's something in the attic? I'll probably just press a hint so that we don't waste a bunch of time. Check a few places that it could be first. Pressure release from the... Oh! Oh! Were the levers accessible to the boiler? I didn't realize. Let's go do that, I guess. I normally wouldn't do the hints. I didn't want to at first, but I know this is kind of a recording and I didn't want to hold everyone up while I did figured things out, so we make do. Oh, they totally are. Okay. That one goes way up. Or that's 375. Okay, so it's going to have to be a combination of all of these that I randomly lucked into. Nice. All right, let's go. Royal Star Oceanic Steam Navigation Company, Ocean Passenger from London to Paris via Calais, uh, Calais, Calais Port on 1881, October 3rd. Okay, so that was part of the travel puzzle. I don't think I have that yet. You're really making me click on everything. Okay, Rome... I'm going to just let the note-taking journal do its job for these. Shoes. Anything else to click on in here? So what did that get us? That got us two of them, but not all of them. Anything we haven't... We don't know what to do with Hamlet yet. Oh, we do have something for this. It was counterclockwise 30, clockwise 22, I want to say. If that's not it, I'll have to go look it up, but I want to feel like maybe I remembered. Nope. Rather than waste more time, let's go just look it up. It was counterclockwise 30, clockwise 22, but it's been torn in half. There's another note somewhere. That day in London, that month in Paris, that year in Rome. We can do this then. Three October eighty two three There we go. 
had to had to finagle it a little bit because I was a little dumb for a moment. And that's fine. You're very close. A book in my chamber is the key to the wow. The books; those were so long ago. Work of my life. The wisdom of this literary work will help you understand my motives and the consequence. Hamlet. Okay, Hamlet for the books. Look at the barrels with the lens. And we now have a journal entry for that. Ah, I hate this animation for the first time you boot up the game. No! Wow. Alright, we'll have to solve that later. I hate it! Forty-five, seventeen, thirty, twenty-two. So let's just do, do forty-five, seventeen, all the way back around, thirty. Way back around again. 22. Nice. Nice and responsive. I like that programming. A heraldic, a heraldic symbol. Heraldic symbol of a lion. Okay. Don't know where the heraldic symbol of the lion is, but let's go back to the library. Ah, crunchies and piece another piece of this together. I'm getting all giddy because I can feel like we're getting to the end. Wrong door. Here we go. Oh, you have to like... Okay. Let's just get them all in the same row, but I don't know which one I have to get exactly where. Let... Oh, you, you, you know, I didn't put them in order, so I, mm, I put an omelet. <laughs> I guess he really liked reading his morning omelet. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Seems someone spent a lot of time designing these complex mechanisms. Secret tunnel. Okay. Let us play the disc. Boxing. Boxing. Do I have any other items left? I have that heraldic thing. Right. Through the mountains. Origin of the species. Investigative report. Bioselective regeneration. I have discovered that many of the endemic reptiles of the island visited on my expedition have an amazing ability to regenerate. In a matter of hours, they can completely replace a lost limb. I have also managed to identify jellyfish that apparently renew their cellular composition, generating a perpetual cycle, which means, if I am not mistaken, that they can live forever. These are not just some animals that seem to have a unique genome, different from that of any other specimens, even of the... Just, these are just some animals that seem to have different, even from same species. Is it possible to isolate these genomes and transiterate them from one species to another to reverse cell deterioration or death in the living beings? I have managed to determine that the species with the greatest longevity are the oldest and most primitive ones, those that are biologically composed of simpler cellular structures. I'm sure this phenomenon is connected to the very origin of the Earth billions of years ago. 
Gloria Mundi. I have selective regeneration. Okay. I have no shadow. I am a man of vampire. I am convinced that the ancient myths about eternal life were all connected to a single immutable reality, the original gene of life. The Philosopher's Stone, which ancient alchemists sought to obtain, and also known as the Elixir of Eternal Life, is nothing more than a fossilization of this gene and its consequent chemical reactivation. Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Eternal Youth was surely a source of rich, of water, rich in bioactive sediments of the gene product of the pre-fossilization of the species. Even the macabre stories about vampires and other immortal beings show the biological transformation caused in some subjects who consume species that said gene in their diet. This can be observed on rare species of albino bats that is popular in rural village villages in northern Romania. The Fountain of Eternal Youth of the Philosopher's Stone actually existed. However, analysis of sediments from the water collected on the islands indicates that the load of living enzymes produced in the gene has decayed exponentially over time. In other words, the source of eternal youth described by the inhabitants of the islands has been dying little by little. This explains why we do not have certain evidence that there are individuals or subjects who have managed to live forever. Nevertheless, I do not doubt this is theoretically possible. If it's possible to isolate and replicate the enzymes of the gene of life through eugenic techniques, then synthesize a compatible serum at the cellular level of the human body, it would be possible to delay the cellular deterioration in our body and even stop it permanently. Source philosopher. Bombast. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of been hinting that the whole time, so that's not... Okay, don't have the clue for that. The boxing gloves glow green. Interesting. That's worth remembering. Hadley Strange and Nicholas Strange. Through the mountain, secret tunnel. Equip that, close here. Let's see what's glowing on her, if anything. Dress, so dress and gloves are two of ours. But we're out of things other than the emblem here. I'm guessing that's gonna hint at this box. So we need to go find one last Zodiac, whatever. Where does the emblem need to go? Pattern of symbols on the lids. It seems that the identicals. The lids of domino. What? Of the what? Oh, you're just domino matching them. Okay, thank you, hint system. I'm very dumb. I did not get a lot of the things right in the basement. I, I really assumed that I would need to find other things, and I didn't. I didn't need to find other things. Nope. Maybe they don't have to match precisely. They don't seem to. This seems to work. Or does. Wait, no. Wait. Sword. That doesn't work either. Oh, crown, crown. Let's try crown, crown. That makes much more sense. Let's go... Come on. Click, 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 click. There we go. The Escutuchin. Uh, Escut uh, Escutuchin. Shield used as the base of a coat of arms. I already know. I already know. Let's take off those. 
the last screw. I can use the corkscrew to open the bottle on the kitchen table. What corkscrew? What? Apparently, they put a corkscrew right next to a note, and I obviously saw the note because the note's a note, and missed the corkscrew. And I super didn't have to look that up online while I was staring at it like a dummy for a few minutes and still overlooking it. That's certainly not what happened. Okay, I need to find a fireplace that has a picture over it and that stuff. I think that was the ballroom. I'm not certain. Let's just keep going and hopefully trying to trying to get to the end of this. But I keep making silly mistakes. Nope. Must be upstairs then. Got it. Okay. Let's try this again. It's still a puzzle we're like missing entirely, apparently. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't mean that. Drawing room, of course. <sighs> Too many fireplaces. I, I... <laughs> I like this game. That clue wasn't very good because there's way too many fireplaces for me to remember one specific one if I hadn't noticed that I needed to do things. The masks. Okay. Big old nose looked down on high. That's all I remember for now. So let's go take a look at this. Okay. Look down on all of the others from above. His attention was called deep down below at the bottom where a gentleman with a large green mask was talking to the feathered mask. Most distant of the guests, as if they were fighting on, were a woman with an oval green emerald at the left of the hall, and across her a handsome man that wore a sky blue mask with spikes wore. Right. Left. Do, 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 do. In the center of the hall, a woman with a black flame appearance mask, and the last two guests located just above her, drawing them each their attention was. What did I do wrong? Guest with a huge graceful nose looked down from above. Huge nose. His attention was called deep down to the bottom of the hall, where a gentleman with a large green mask was talking very close to a woman who was right. with a mask with feathers adorned. The most distant guests, as if they were fighting on, were a woman with an oval green emerald on her mask at the left, and across her a handsome man with a sky blue mask with spikes. That is left, right? In the center of the hall, a woman with a black flame appearance mask of the last two guests located just above her, drawing them each 
their attention was. Okay. I missed something there, and I'm bad with left and right sometimes as it is, so whatever. Um. Masquerade mask. I keep getting lost. Okay, cool. Where does the shield go? It's empty shelf below the portrait in the vestibule. Oh, that's where the lineage thing was. I should have, that's one I should have figured out. I, I feel bad about cheating on that one. Let's just, let's just get to the end of this. I'm kind of ready. Equip. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. What do we get? What do we get? Bronze medallion. Nice. Okay. You with heart-shaped ornament I got from the clock is similar to the padlock on the chesses. The clock? Which clock? Dining room clock or the clock upstairs? Ugh. I'm getting a little tired and missing things. I apologize for that. Let's go, though. Hard shaped key. A chest where? Master bedroom. Okay, yeah. All right. This will have our last thing in it, I guess. I'm guessing. I just missed like a whole puzzle, basically, unfortunately. Silver, strong box, silver key. The, what? Dead bodies, conservation methods. Oh no. key to an old safe safe in the attic okay yeah safe cracker achievement very nice that must mean we're getting close oh that's not what I expected it to be next but okay maybe this art room isn't the final puzzle Maybe the final puzzle is in the laboratory that I got to earlier than maybe you were expected to. One change I would make to this game. This has been fun. It really has. A small change that, that a lot of, like, um, really... There's a whole branch of games called hidden object games that are made by small companies that, like, their whole bread and butter is just making a lot of relatively cheap but fairly fun puzzle games. And what they have all figured out is that when you need a, an item that dropped from something, especially when, like, two items drop from something, you make it so that you can you have to pick them both up before you can leave or something like that. You You have to give the player just a little bit of help to make sure they didn't miss 
one item because two dropped, and I wish they'd figured out something like that here. Victorian Post, mysterious murder. The victim was identified as Stephen Slavko, Slavko, a famous scientist of Serbian origin. We read a letter from him. Investigators are gathering information to clarify whether this murder is related to the strange disappearances in recent months. I'd say they might be related to the strange disappearances, if you catch my meaning. List of test subjects for Vermilion Formula. Subject name, age range, results. Unsuitable, suitable. Roger Brown, suitable. Marcus Benton, unsuitable. Died after a few hours. Agatha Howells, died in three hours. William... Unsatisfactory results, sudden death. Familiar formula, more harmful to the elder test subjects. That I know where that goes to. Dark red blood. After several years of investigation and experimentation, I have finally succeeded. I've managed to synthesize the serum of com by combining the properties of life enzyme isolated from a jellyfish, the selective regeneration gene from a salamander, and the blood of some test subjects. I've been able to show how the half-life of the serum improves considerably as younger subjects are used, which results in a darker shade of the red in the serum. I've started the next subject clinical trials with a million and carmine formulation formulations. I will very soon start testing a new hypothesis by testing it on my own son. Okay, so we have the storage key, and down here we have something. Offspring Eternal is written on the top of this heavy door. Okay, so there's something there. Um, just seems like it was a little easy to miss some very obvious items. If you weren't, like, looking just in the right space or opening something after you solved a puzzle. Um, so just, like, a little more guidance on something like that would have been handy for at least me not getting as lost this time around. Maybe it wasn't the problem for most people, but uh, I ended up having trouble with it. So just a little more making sure along the way would have been really handy for me. But we're on what appears to be the last door based on the achievement I just got. Family portrait was repainted to remove the youngest member of the family. Yeah. Remember her name. Oh. Oh, okay. Key to a jewelry box. And this thing. God, I swear we have seen her name. I swear we have. Um, Secret Laboratory was... Over here. So what's on this one? Man. So we have boxing gloves, dress, and man. Let's see if that has anything to do with this box. Man, boxing glove, dress. Okay. And we got this thing. Nice. Oh, do we not? Uh, oh. Okay. Where did we find her name? It was in the... And on the back of the Camille picture near the cryptex in the storage room. Okay, definitely not looking things up online at all. I definitely didn't learn from an online source that I had meant to use that one even though it didn't seem like it was clickable at the time. And I just did a big stupid circle for no reason. Also, that didn't happen. <sighs> Basically, I did some stuff out of order. I tried clicking on 
the code word thing up here and didn't find it. For some reason, I just didn't get it. And that was the one that was supposed to be actually typed in Camille here. I keep thinking I'm near the end and then I'm a little further than I think. But I kind of feel like I just want to end this now. Blood sample. Alright, so we've made it to where the jewelry box was. And we just need to enter the names of all the family. Which, as another small aside to this game developer team and other just future game developers... Um, I, I think if you're going to give someone like an automatic clue system that helps record like important information you'll need to remember, don't drop that suddenly. So like now I need to remember solve these puzzles by remembering the names of the people. Um, and Nicholas, that's pretty easy because he's been around a lot. Camille, I probably could have remembered because it was important and I could have, like, written it down. Mia and Maya were, like, yeah, right next to it, but still, it was just kind of, like, all the other puzzles, if it was something important you needed to remember and might forget, it wrote it down for you, and it didn't. If you're not going to have clues be written down, that's fine. It just depends from type of game to type of game. Um, I'm not saying you should always provide a clue system like this. I'm just saying that if you're going to provide a clue system, try to try to be consistent with it so that people don't have to, you know, so the, people, the player's expectations are sort of uh, kept in check. Just because you don't want to just suddenly drop that away. Um, and if you, you want to do that, um, where you, like, suddenly don't provide clues. Like, make that something awesome and secret that you've hidden. Like, don't make that just, like, the final puzzle is suddenly it changes, but, like, maybe don't provide as many clues for something that's a harder puzzle to solve um, that might hold, like, deeper secrets for your game or something. Something side material, because then it's, like, extra mileage if the players recognize that there were puzzles outside of the game, the the core gameplay or something. Just consistency is basically all I'm saying. Is like keep it keep it consistent. Let the players don't don't take away a tool all of a sudden unless it's important and reasonable to do so. Um if you don't need to take absolutely need to take away a, a a clue, you know, if you don't need to take away a tool that the player's used to for, like, narrative reasons or challenge reasons, like, don't, because that's just gonna make things kinda confusing. Alright, all the kids. Blood mixed. Oh, no. All right, let's focus back on the game. The whole family's in here. All right. Um Eureka! I have managed to synthesize a formula that completely stops cells from aging, the crimson formula. The cost has been very high. 
I have to remake to make an immeasurable sacrifice for our family, but it has been necessary to take them to take the next great step for humanity. It has been difficult for the rest of my family to understand, but it's really simple. She has not died. She will now live eternally as part of us. She's given us the gift of eternal life, and her inheritance for the world is perpetual, perpetual the lineage of a family that would forever change the destiny of humanity. Yikes. Okay, so he sacrificed his daughter to make this immortal formula. You have come very far. You have earned a role in the history of mankind. Our bodies must remain in suspended animation for a hundred years inside these vita chambers to complete the cellular transmutation process and detain eternal life. I have decided to grant you the privilege of becoming the heir to the mansion and the keeper of the chambers. Along with this letter, you will find a dosage of the crimson formula that will allow you to live long enough to fulfill the last mandate. Once our transmutation process is finished, you will have the opportunity to use one of the cameras and achieve immortality like us. Cameras. Obviously, this is the choice I would make is to destroy it. I think this is all very silly and kind of stupid. But let's play interesting. Let's see what this ending's like. Oh, that was pretty short. Well, I will let these credits roll for a while so you can all see them and you know, respect the game developers. This has been a lot of fun. Um, sorry for the kind of choppy editing here at the end. Uh, I figured I just kind of... It was a lot of running back and forth, and I kind of ended up having to look up a lot of answers sometimes online. So it just made more sense to kind of cut it up a little bit and put it all into one episode at the end. Um, but thank you for joining me. I think this story was simple but fun. Um, like I said, a few changes I would have made to the way the puzzles work, but that's very minor. This was neat. The story was not super deep. It was kind of fun and pulpy, which is with all the pulp stuff around. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this. Um, probably won't make a video essay about it or anything. But excellent work to the team. This was a lot of fun, and a lot of heart went into it. I had a good time along the way. I hope you did too. And as the credits roll out, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like if you had a good time. Otherwise, uh, well, not otherwise, if you all had a really good time, you can subscribe and become a main character of the channel. It really helps out. But otherwise, or including those options, thanks for spending your time with me here. I hope you enjoyed the game too. And I will see you in something else next time. Have a great day. Bye!